a top story first. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has asked IT professionals and enthusiasts to take part in the innovation challenge to create code for Atma Nirbhar Bharat. The Minister of Electronics and Information Technology along with Atal Innovation Mission have come up with the Atma Nirbhar Bharat Innovation Challenge which has two parts, promotion of the existing apps and development of new apps. We get to more in this report. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has thrown up a fresh challenge for India's coders and techies. Writing on well-known career portal LinkedIn on Saturday, the Prime Minister announced the Art Nirbhar Bharat Innovation Challenge put together jointly by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology as well as the Atal Innovation Mission. The Prime Minister said, India has a very vibrant tech and startup ecosystem which has done India proud nationally as well as globally. Our youngsters have excelled in providing tech solutions across sectors. The COVID-19 pandemic has also brought about a big disruption, which is being tackled through the use of technology to aid our day-to-day -day lives. We all know the huge potential of our market and the scale products can achieve if they can satisfy the demands of the market. Nowadays, we are seeing huge interest and enthusiasm among the startup and tech ecosystem to innovate, develop and promote homegrown apps. Taking off from the self-reliance refrain of Atma Nirbhat Bharat Mission, the Prime Minister said the challenge will run on two tracks, promotion of existing apps and development of new apps. For promotion of existing apps and platforms, the government will provide mentoring, hand-holding and support. These would be e-learning, work from home, gaming, business, entertainment, office utilities and social networking categories. Designated Track 01, it will work in a mission mode to identify good quality apps for the leader board and will be completed in around a month. Track 02 will be for incubating new apps and platforms by helping to create new champions of India. This will be done by providing support in ideation, incubation, prototyping and rollout along with market access. The outcome of this challenge will be to give better visibility and clarity to existing apps to achieve their goals. It will also lead to creation of tech products which provide solutions to tech conundrums with the help of mentorship, tech support and guidance during the entire life cycle. For our UAPD, for our start-ups, there is a new opportunity here. And it is a great opportunity. We will introduce new indoor games to the world's indoor games. We will introduce new things to the world's indoor games. We will introduce new things to the world's indoor games. बहुत पॉपुलर हो जाएंगे और हमें ये भी याद रखना है हमारे भारतीय खेल भी तो लोकल है और हम लोकल के लिए वोकल होने का प्रण पहले ही ले चुके हैं द प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्ट्रेस दैट देयर इज ट्रिमेंडस स्कोप अमंग दीज सेक्टर्स फॉर न्यू एप्स व्हिच सॉल्व स्पेसिफिक इश्यूज फॉर इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड बी इन द फील्ड्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल इंडियन गेम्स और ई लर्निंग ही एडेड दैट द चैलेंज इज बीइंग जॉइंटली होस्टेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड मेंबर्स ऑफ टेक कम्युनिटी and urge the entire tech community to code to help create an art nirbhar bharat app ecosystem did india Prime Minister Narendra Modi has asserted that Bharatiya Janata Party is a political organization which works to serve the people of the country and it is not only an election winning machine Reviewing the party's Seva Hi Sangathan Abhiyan through video conferencing, Prime Minister Modi said that what the party workers did during lockdown period is a great example of service. He pointed out that selfless service was the real purpose of power and that it is ingrained in BJP's culture. The Prime Minister said that service is an inspiration for future generations and that the BJP is connected with every section of the society. The Prime Minister reiterated the 7S mantra for BJP workers. Pahala, Seva Bhav. Dousra, Santulam. Tisra, Sanyam. Chautha, Samanvay. Paanchwa, Sakaratmukta. Chatha, Sadbhavna. Or Satwa, Samvat. BJP ke har kaar karta ke aachanan or niti mein इन दिनों इस कोरोना की लड़ाई में भरपूर रूप से इसका प्रभाव दिखाई दिया है और हर भारतीय भाजपा के कार्यकर्ता के लिए ये गर्व का विषय है 
And speaking on the occasion, BJP President J.P. Nadda said that 8 lakh workers were directly engaged in helping people during the lockdown period. He praised the timely intervention of the central government during the lockdown period and said that they not only contained the spread of the virus, but also helped the poor with various packages. When the corona was born, तो तब से लेकर आज दिन तक आपने जो नेतृत्व प्रदान किया है वो दुनिया को दृष्टि और दिशा देने वाला है जब बड़े बड़े देश शक्तिशाली देश अपने आप को इस कोरोना संक्रमण के आगे असहाय महसूस कर रहे थे तो आपके फैसले आपकी जन भागीदारी जनता को साथ लेकर लेकर चलने की बात सरकारों को प्रदेश सरकारों को कोऑपरेटिव फेडरलिज्म में अपने साथ जोड़ करके चलने की बात और महत्वपूर्ण फैसले बोर्ड फैसले जैसे लॉकडाउन करना यह आपने लिया और इसकी तारीफ और इसकी ध्वनि विश्व के संगठनों ने भी उठाई और उन्होंने बताया कि जो रास्ता प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने भारत के लिए लिया है वह अनुकरणीय है the Seva He Sangatan program was carried out on the instructions of party president J.P. Nadda. The BJP workers served every section of the society from 24th of March till 27th of May. BJP workers delivered food to people under the Feed the Need program. Seva He Sangatan program covered 907 organizational districts and 13,796 organizational boards. During this period, 22.18 crore food packets were distributed. In addition to this, 5.04 crore ration kits were distributed. Also, 5.66 crore masks were made available to the people. 57.94 lakh rupees were contributed to Prime Minister Cares Fund. Also, 4.79 lakh workers served the elderly and the sick. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviewed the progress of agriculture research, extension and education in India through video conference on Saturday and pitched for promoting startups and non and agri entrepreneurs to ensure innovation and use of technology in farming and allied sectors. The Prime Minister highlighted the need to adopt organic and natural farming practices on a cluster based approach. The ICAR has developed geo-referenced organic carbon map of India, identified 88 biocontrol agents and 22 biopesticides which can promote organic agriculture. The Prime Minister directed that startups and agri-entrepreneurs need to be promoted to ensure innovation and use of technology in agriculture and allied sectors. He highlighted the need to leverage information technology to provide information on demand to the farmers. He also directed that hackathons be organized twice a year to solve identified problems and meet desi design needs for tools and equipment that can reduce drudgery if farming activity, given that a large number of farm workers are women. He exhorted the need to create awareness regarding inclusion of millets like jowar, bajra, ragi and several other minor millets in diet to ensure a healthy diet. He also underlined the need to study the use of seaweeds for their impact on soil health apart from exploring commercial applications in nutraceuticals. He also directed that a focused mission mode be approached for adopting for adoption of vaccine drives for foot and mouth disease. The Prime Minister exhorted that traditional knowledge of Indian communities should be coupled with technology and skill sets of youth and agriculture graduates to translate the full potential of Indian agriculture in transforming the rural areas. In Jammu and Kashmir, the Chari Mubarak Puja rituals were performed at Pahalgam base on the occasion of Ashad Purnima this morning. The ritual marks the commencement of the annual Sri Amarnath Ji Yatra. Later, the Chari will be carried to various temples before reaching to Sri Amarnath Cave Shrine on the occasion of Raksha Bandhan on 3rd of August. The Yatra this year will have to be undertaken in a restricted manner due to COVID-19 pandemic. A maximum of 500 pilgrims will be allowed per day by road from Jammu. Baba Amarnath Aarti this year will be telecast live on Doodarshan. Adequate arrangements have been made to ensure uninterrupted telecast of the Aarti.
दर्शन है भोले बाबा सबका कल्याण करे यहाँ का विकास हो लोगों का सुखाकारी रहे इस वक्त जिस तरह कोरोना से लोग जूझ रहे हैं इसे इनका छुटकारा जल्दी मिले और यहाँ सब प्रगति करे यही हमारा शुभकामना है ये बहुत अच्छी बात है सभी लोग अपना घर में बैठ के भोले बाबा का यहाँ का अमरनाथ जी का दर्शन कर सकते हैं क्योंकि इस बार कोरोना के कारण लो यात्रा से वो बहुत लोग आ नहीं पाएंगे ऐसे भी यात्रा का अभी एक ही रूट हम लोग ने तैयार किया है तो इस परिप्रेक्ष्य में अगर देखा जाए तो ये बहुत अच्छी बात है और ये इसका लाभ पूरा देश को मिलेगा और प्रदेश को भी मिलेगा विदेश में रहते हैं सभी श्रद्धालुओं को भी इसका लाभ मिलेगा A fresh bout of rain and high velocity winds lashed the national capital overnight bringing mercury down by several notches this morning light rain and generally cloudy weather is ex ex expected during the day today the med department has predicted more rains over the next 3 to 4 days the maximum temperature is expected to drop to 34 degrees celsius by wednesday monsoon reached delhi on june 25th normal rainfall is predicted in the national capital during the season In Maharashtra four persons including two women and a boy were washed away in Vardha district due to flooding in the nalas two women fell in the nala from Bulukkat near Sonegaon station in another incident bodies of a man and a 12 year old boy were found near Yesamba all of them were returning from farms four were washed away in Vardha district of Maharashtra incessant rainfall continued to lash Mumbai and several parts of Maharashtra on the second day on Saturday The Indian Med Department said that due to active monsoon conditions entire Konkan coast including Mumbai is experiencing an intense spell of rainfall many parts of Mumbai are submerged in water BMC and NDRF teams have been deployed to face any eventualities heavy downpour has been recorded in Sindhudurg Thane Ratnagiri and some pockets of mid Maharashtra Med Department has predicted heavy to very heavy rainfall in Palghar Mumbai Thane and Raigarh districts In Assam flood waters have receded at several locations and the overall situation is showing signs of improvement 18 out of 33 districts of the state however still remain affected by flood waters with the death of two more persons in the last 24 hours the total death toll this flood season has now reached 37 the Assam disaster management authority on saturday said that over 10.75 lakh people remained affected in 1412 villages and localities in 18 districts of the state altogether 171 relief camps and relief distribution centers are functional as on date providing shelter to over 6500 inmates And our correspondent Doreena is joining us from Guwahati to get us uh, more on that. Doreena, we tell our viewers that the situation is somewhat improving, but still, 18 uh, villages and 18 districts uh, uh, in uh, Assam are still affected by the floods. Let us know the current situation. Right, pretty. Uh, in the last 24 hours, uh, since the rainfall has stopped in many parts of Assam, uh, so uh, there is a sign of improvement in the flood situation in the state. Uh, out of 33 districts, as you have mentioned, 18 are still under water. Uh, more than uh, 10 lakh 75 thousand uh, people have been affected, and over 53 thousand hectares of cropland have been affected so far. Uh, the two more deaths uh, reported yesterday, and now the total. Total uh, death toll uh, has increased to 37. Yes, the uh, relief and rescue operations are going on in a big way. NDRF and SDRF personnel are uh, continuing uh, in uh, evacuating those people from various places. Uh, yesterday, uh, more than uh, 1,000 uh, people have been evacuated. The uh, district administration of various uh, districts have uh, set up uh, 171 relief camps and. Uh, Uh, over 6500 inmates are taking shelter there pretty well uh, this time as uh, we uh, always come live every year to uh, speak about the uh, flood situation in the state you uh, you better know about it but this time the situation is a bit different because uh, in on one hand the covid-19 pandemic and on the other side 
the uh, flood situation worsening in the state so uh, it's a big challenge for the state government to tackle both the situation uh, simultaneously uh, uh, i have to add it here that the center is also supporting uh, uh, and uh, giving all uh, possible support uh, to this state regarding flood as well as covid uh, even uh, prime minister narendra modi uh, spoke to uh, chief minister sarbananda sonwal on friday and he uh, announced uh, two lakh each exgratia to the next of the kin of the yes. affected uh, flood victims and uh, this is a uh, good news for people of assam uh, and uh, for which uh, you know the now the uh, government is uh, trying hard to uh, tackle the situation and uh, right now the situation is being a normal a bit you can say pretty all right the situation is soon returning to normal there in assam but do you know um, generally heavy rains and uh, floods are followed by the outbreak of diseases or epidemics uh, let us know about the condition of the people living in the relief camps and all the hospitals there the medical facilities they are well equipped right pretty uh, as you know the covid pandemic is uh, like the outbreak is going on so because of that it means all the administration are constantly monitoring all the uh, relief camps where inmates are there uh, so that uh, they uh, those inmates uh, uh, they should maintain social distancing because uh, these are uh, as i've mentioned that these are the challenging uh, things to be i um, mean uh, monitored by the state government monitored by the district administration because uh, uh, the covid pandemic is uh, is there as well as flood uh, affected people they are living in the inmates and yes uh, in uh, various hospitals people are there for covid uh, since the covid cases are increasing uh, yesterday there is a biggest spike i have to mention here that uh, more than 1200 uh, positive cases have been detected in a single day uh, where uh, more than 700 have been uh, detected from guwahati alone so hospitals are well equipped with all the facilities being provided to uh, the patients of covid and uh, the relief camps are also well equipped and uh, uh, all the uh, required i mean uh, necessary uh, things are being provided to or uh, the inmates of the uh, relief camps so far pretty all right uh, doina thank you so much for joining us with those inputs from guwahati and up next we'll get you a quick update on the uh, covid-19 cases in the country the number of recovered covid-19 cases continues to increase steadily in india nearly 1.6 lakh more recovered cases have been reported than the active ones in the country so far now according to the figures compiled by the ministry of health and family welfare there are 1 lakh 58793 recovered cases more than the active cases as of now Now as a result of this the recovery rate has further increased to 60.81%. The efforts of the of the administration to expand the testing labs network in the country have also led to their numbers increasing every day. There are as many as 1087 labs in the country including 780 labs in the government sector and 307 private labs. Meanwhile facilitation of widespread testing by states and union territories has spurred the number of samples tested every day during the last 24 hours 242383 samples have been tested pushing the cumulative number of tests to 95 40132 Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Delhi remain the worst affected states in the country from COVID-19. Maharashtra has reported 7074 COVID-19 cases and 295 deaths in the last 24 hours. While in Tamil Nadu, 4280 persons have tested positive for COVID-19 and 65 deaths were reported yesterday. 2214 patients were discharged as well in the past 24 hours. Delhi reported 2505 new cases, 55 deaths in the past 24 hours. Also 2632 patients were cured in the last 24 hours in the national capital. Telangana, Karnataka and Assam are the other states which reported over 1000 cases on Saturday. Telangana reported 1850 new COVID-19 infections while 1839 cases were reported in Karnataka on Saturday. 1202 cases were reported in Assam on Saturday. As per the latest data released by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, active cases are 
two lakh forty-four thousand eight hundred fourteen, while four lakh nine thousand eighty-two people have recovered so far. And in Assam, Guwahati city alone has been witnessing an upsurge in the number of COVID-19 cases. The Raj Bhavan in Guwahati has also been declared a containment zone after detection of COVID-19 positive patient. Kamrup Metro District, in which the city falls, is already under lockdown for 14 days since 29th of July. Up next, we'll get to know more about the situation in the state from our correspondent. In the biggest spike ever, Assam on Saturday reported 1,202 fresh COVID-19 positive cases, of which 777 are from Guwahati alone. And this single-day spike has taken the tally in the state to over 11,000, out of which over 4,600 are active cases and over 6,300 have recovered so far. 14 have died and three out of them are being migrated out of the state. Well, even the Raj Bhavan in Guwahati have been declared as the containment zone uh, as uh, some of the employees have been detected with COVID positive cases. Uh, the state government uh, that announced a lockdown, 14 day lockdown from uh, July 29 in the Kamrup Metro District under which Guwahati City Falls have announced yesterday certain relaxations allowing uh, the grocery shops to be open on Wednesday and Friday. But uh, Chief Secretary of Assam in the late night yesterday have indicated that uh, this order uh, might be revised due to this single day spike. This is Dwayna reporting for Daily News. And stating the success of Vande Bharat mission to bring back the stranded Indian citizens from foreign countries, Union Civil Aviation Minister Hardeep Singh Puri said that more than 5,20,000 Indians have returned to India through the mission and chartered flights, naval ships and through land borders since 6th of May. Nearly 70,000 have flown back to various destinations. The mission has now dovetailed and has, has dovetailed into phase four and will continue to bring back stranded Indians. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi has greeted nation on the occasion of Guru Purnima. In a tweet, he said, Many wishes to the countrymen on Guru Purnima. Today is a special day to show respect to the gurus who make life meaningful. On this occasion, my best regards to all the gurus. That's it in this edition of the News this hour. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.